filming on behalf of JCT or VW? No. Filming Price. me at the minute? It's always on, yeah. I don't right, turn it off. Take it off while you talk to me. I don't want to be filmed. I'm going to stand outside here because I don't want to be filmed. You need my consent to be filming. Me, as a person. Right. I'm going to leave it there with you. Welcome back to another dealership video, everybody. Today we're here in Bradford, Leeds, Bradford, and we're looking at VW, part of the JCT group. We've done a few JCT groups around this area, mostly been positive. Let's see if they can hold up, look. Let's see if they can hold up the reputation. Busy, busy in here. Busy, busy. Right. Lots going on in here. Desks everywhere. Cars everywhere. I don't know if that lady spotted the camera, but she's got up and walked off. Sorry, Miss Megan, I'll get you a call shot. Many thanks, thank you. Thanks, bye. Hello there, can I have you? I'm just walking around with the camera. I can see that. I hope <laughs> I'm not on it, am I? Uh, at this second you will be, but... Right, how can we help you today? I don't know, I'm just walking around. You're just walking around? Pretty much. Right, okay. Just highlighting what you've got. You're just highlighting what we've got. That's so where it. are you from? Home. From home? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. And are you looking at going into something you were used? No, so I just film dealers. You film dealers, do That's you? I see, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> right. Is that you? That's me. Oh, cool. Yeah, got a name? I've never, I've never seen a name on a reception desk. Have you not? In VW, no. Ah, right. It's yeah. good. No, that's my name. I'm on, Great. I'm, uh, reception side so you, you you film dealers right? i film car dealers yeah all oh, right okay and then you what are you driving at the moment then yourself i actually drive a golf r at the moment oh wow so i wow. do i do actually drive vw yeah, yeah. Mm. are you looking to change over at the moment at all or not really not really no no you're quite happy with it but my viewers might pardon my viewers, viewers might. might yes oh right right okay so would you like to speak to anybody particular today i don't mind you don't mind you look quite busy I'll find somebody for you. Okay. <laughs> Just take a seat in the waiting area. What's your first name? DJ. DJ. Call me DJ, yeah. DJ. DJ, take a seat yeah. in the waiting area and I'll get somebody to come and have a word with you. All right. Just have to be brave. Yeah, great, thanks. <laughs> Coffee machine. JCT coffee machine. Really good. Got some t shirts over here. Bags. Very busy in here. Busy, busy. Service reception here. data breach there. Pedals over here. That's my pedal right there. Literally my pedal. Oh, great. Thanks. Sorry. I see you don't have a Golf R in the showroom. Or do you? We, no, we don't. We change ah. the cars around quite regularly. Oh, right. So uh, I don't think we have at the moment. We might have a used one on the uh, oh, lot. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. Mm. But uh, Phil will be with you shortly. Who, yeah. Who's Phil, anyway? Phil Gott, he's one of our managers. Oh, manager? Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. We have a coffee? Uh, I might get a coffee, actually. Right, okay. Well, I've got a lot to do today, so. 
We've got a lot to do today. Yeah, I filmed different sites, not just car dealers. Right, okay. But I was driving past and I thought, well, it's right here, so right, just okay. pop in, get Bradford done. Okay, well, great place to work. Is it? But I'm going to say that, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. amazing. You can always tell how the receptionist behaves. If they behave, behave badly, Pardon? you can always tell how the receptionist behaves. If they're like polite and nice, yeah. generally it's probably going to go okay. Right. If, if they're rude, which you haven't been obviously, but if you were, yeah. oh, it kind of carries on that way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it happens. Yeah, yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You have to, you don't know who you're speaking to. And, uh, That's it, isn't it? It's my way of dealing with Phil. Oh, this oh. is Phil. Oh, um, hi, Phil. Um, manager, <laughs> I'm just guys. filming the, the dealer today, so she just said she'll grab somebody for me. I don't know whether... You want to know about uh, it or not, but... A, a quick word with somebody? Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, so you're on, you're, <laughs> on you're on Phil? You're on Phil? No, it's not live or nothing, don't worry. Um, I just walk around and I just film what you've got, basically, and make it an informative video about your dealer. Oh. Bradford's on the list today, so... Oh. oh <laughs> that's okay. all it is. Oh, that's all right. Got okay. a little drone, so I take the drone over the roof after. Oh, do you? Yeah, you got, have you got solar panels, or if you have, we'll check them out. No. No. You might have some keys on or a dead body. What's from, Key. from, from the dead When I worked at um, uh, Bradford uh, Board, there were a dead body on the body shop. Room. A dead body? Yeah. An actual human being? Yeah. Because the police went past on a, on a, and they saw it, and then all of a sudden we had a million people there. I don't know what's going on. They went on the roof. There was this. How guy. did they get up there? This was 25 years ago. Right. Right, uh, because we were working and we were like, oh. You'd only be about 10 then, were you, Phil? Yeah, nine. So, so if, I che if I check today and there's a body on this roof, okay. you've got someone in here killing people? Uh, well, yeah, there may be. So, so yeah, do, do a little check on top, see if there's any bodies. I'll on. do a body check for you, mate, no problem at all. But it was ironic because it was on top of the body shop roof. What's it? <laughs> I suppose this is a coincidence. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, just whatever you need to do, that's fine. Uh, yeah. There's just staff working, there's selling cars and... Busy, busy? Service. Yeah, it's a busy old site. Is it? Yeah, really busy. Um, so, yeah, uh, just a typical working day for us. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Any R's? Any golf R's around? We have no, no oh. golf R's. Not the... Uh, that's what I drive, so... Oh, is it? I always look for the R's. Is it the uh, Mark 8? I'm on Mark 7, me. Still. Yeah. I've had it a few years now, so... Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, the Mark 7s, we wouldn't... Uh, I can't remember what last Mark 7 we had. Uh, no, I always look for the 8 in the, in the showroom, just because I drive, you know, the R. don't but... have them for long, and to be fair, they're hard to get hold of anyway. Are they? Because of the, um, the lead time for them. So if you ordered a Golf R, uh, you, you'd be waiting over a year for it. Well. So I think it puts people off a little bit. Right. Um, but then when we do get one in, uh, they just go like that. Do they? Yeah. As soon as you get it in, it's gone. Uh, honestly. See, in Swindon, you know, Wiltshire, yeah, yeah. they've got two R's in that showroom, and whenever I go in, that's my local dealer, whenever I go in for a part, they're always still there. And they're beautiful. They're like black with the, with the leather speck and... They may well have registered them, and then, but can't sell them. Uh, sometimes ah, they do that. Right, so that right. might be the case. Well, we, we don't, we wouldn't register them, we just try and sell them. That's all. Okay. Uh, well, as I say, Great. We'll do whatever you need to do. And then, uh, Thank you, mate. Uh, if you need any help, just give us a shout. Thanks very much for your help, mate. Oh, all right. Cheers. Well, let's have a look at a few cars. You all right? Good, thanks. No prices on these in here, is there? No. Which is uh, unusual. I got a question for you. There's no prices on the cars. Prices on these ones, the new cars. Um, I don't know, just those two I looked at, but there's no prices yeah, here. These ones are all new cars in the showroom, so right. if it's anything to do with new cars, we can like sit with a salesperson, they'll be able to tell you all about it. Ah, so how come there's no price on the actual car there? Because on the used cars, there'll be prices on the new, new cars, there'll be, you'd love to sit down with the salesperson, oh, right. different configurations, depends on what spec you want. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I go into a lot of dealers and I make a little video, I've never seen in VW, they've always got the price on. Even on new cars? Well, I haven't seen any without, put it that way. Okay, 
crowd here. So. Normally, with our new cars, we don't normally put the prices on there. It'll just be the car itself, and then obviously when the right. customer asks what kind of spec they want, it will go through those prices. Because but can you not make the price up then? Huh? Like if you think they've got a lot of money, you'll be like, yeah, it's like 10, 10 grand more, right? <laughs> you know what it is, everything's all online now, so yeah, yeah, so a lot of like the prices, it depends on what spec they're after as well, so okay. you know, after a specific spec, you could have a price on the car in the showroom that might not be what they're kind of looking for, so like, just say they're looking at a Polo, you say, and right. got a, a GTI in the showroom, you say, and they're looking at an airline, as soon as they see a GTI price, they're going to, they don't know much about the Polo, they're going to get off put by the price, it's a lot more, so hmm. if they sit down with us and we can go through the spec with them, it'll just kind of, but I'm at ease in that sense, right. you know what I mean? I mean but wouldn't it normally say like 34 grand from 30 basic spec, but 34 this this model? That's what I normally say. Oh, okay. I'm like I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. So if I wanted yeah. that polo, for yeah. example, yeah, yeah. that exact one, yeah. what price is it? How would I find the price out? Just come and sit with me and right, I'll tell right, you all about it. <laughs> right. I'll tell you all about it. But that particular one is spec already, however it's spec. Yeah, yeah, and then there's a set yeah. price on that one, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, got yeah, you. Yeah. Every like I said with the um, polos, a lot of some of them have extra for BWs, so you don't know what you could have a standard polo, but someone could put like ten extras on there that'll boost the price. Up. So it all depends on the specific car as mm. well. Man. Yeah. <coughs> so no prices on these either. Although there is on this one here, 40 grand from 40 grand. A little bit rusty on the old uh, rotors there. I think we'll go outside, we'll do the drone. Look over at this one here, sold. This one's sold, mate. Very nice. Right, let's go and get the drone over. You cleaning the cars? Oh, is that yours? No. Okay, yeah, I do about I'm, right. No, I'm just doing a video in there, so I just... Okay, I can just move and you can do it though. Oh, no, I'm not videoing the car. I just seen you washing it, so I thought I'd come and check. Are you doing it for the dealer, yeah? Yeah. All right, I got you. All right, no worries. All right, <laughs> All right, mate, all right. Filming on behalf of JCT or BW? No. Right, c can I ask what grounds you're filming in there for? Just for me. For, for, but you're filming staff. Yep. And you can't just come in and film on if you've not asked permission. I came in, I let the reception know. But what, what grounds are you, I don't know, I need to understand why you're actually filming and who you're filming for. For social media. For? So I walk into car dealers. Right. I film what's obviously you've, what you've got. Okay. Cars, you're price. Me at the minute? It's always on, yeah. I don't right, turn it off. Take it off while you talk to me. I don't want to be filmed. I can't just turn it off, mate. Right. Well, can you stop recording? I, I don't want to be filmed. You came really? out to a, you came out to somebody who you know is recording. I, I have done, but yeah. I've asked you to turn it off. If you can turn it off, I'll stop recording me until I find out why you're here. Because I just need to, you know, we've got customers in there. Yeah. So. As well. What happens is I've got my camera in my bag. Turn, I don't want to be filmed while I talk to you. So. I think it's a fair request. That I don't want to be filmed. It's my privacy. Then don't okay. come out to me with a camera. But I need to find out why you're actually on site and walking around the dealership. That's all I'm asking. Then unfortunately, that's going to be on my video, mate. I'm sorry. But what is what me talking to? Yeah, of course. But I don't want that. So don't come out to me. But I'll go out on the on the public path if you want me to. I just yeah, but I want the thing of uh, anything filmed with me. I want it deleting. 
I don't understand, mate. You, you've came out to a guy with a camera. I know. But I can I'm understand. To the, I can understand you, yeah. your colleague. Yeah. Because maybe I get, I get that, but yourself. You know there's a guy filming and you come out to me. I do, so I'm asking you now, can you not film me? I'm, I'm not going to turn it off, mate, I'm sorry. Right, can you not... Anything that I'm... Fil I don't want to be on your film. OK, well, you, you're going to be on it, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, but mate. But what, for what grounds? So I surely what? have the right to ask you why I'm going to be on your video. Yeah, so trying, I'm, I've got I'm, filming, I've got customers in go there, on. and I've got staff asking go a lot of questions why you're filming. So I'm just coming right. out at common so courtesy I, to try and get an answer on why you're actually here. Yeah, so I always walk in, I let the, guy, the guys know what I'm doing. Right. Phil, whoever Phil is, a manager of some kind, came over. Right. Explain what I'm doing to him. Mm. He was more than happy with that. I said, crack on, film the, do what you gotta do. So right. I did that, I finished it, I've came out to do my drone shot. Yeah. And then you've came out. But uh, can I ask who it's for or what it's for? Social media. For what though? What platform or what? So let's say. On YouTube or what? It's... Let's say this conversation was different and you were like, look, come and see the golf. Right, okay. Show me the car. Yeah. For you, it's free advertising, right? Okay. Let's say. Or let's say I go in, let's say I go in there and all the cars are really dirty, which mm. they're not, by the way, but let's yeah, say yeah. they were. And that looks bad for the dealer. So right. I walk in and I just film whatever's there. It goes out in the public domain. People get to see it. Good or bad. Right, okay. So what platform's it on? All platforms. Right, so can I ask that you check out what you've got on me on content, please? So is that what you came out to ask me? Well, I'm just here to find out and establish yeah. who you're here for on behalf right. of. Just myself, like independent, yeah. Right, can I get the details of that then? Because I'm going to have to explain to the team and there's obviously customers in there if they're not happy with No, they're not. I haven't filmed no customers, don't right, worry about so that. Right, so can I, can I get the details of the whatever your business is or whatever channel platform or the channel name. On, they would want to see it then as well. I don't think that's a bad ask asking. You've, you've explained to me in there that you don't want to be on my video but you've came out. To... Can you not stand behind me please? Yeah, stand to the side, yeah? Side. I don't want to be on your thingy so... Right, look, I appreciate you, yeah? yeah. I'm not going to push it with yourself. Yeah, if yeah. you don't want to be on my video, yeah. just go back inside. Yeah, but I'm just saying, are you going to take, take it out or...? No. The bit inside? I'm going to just go put a call into one of the brand directors. Just give me two moments, I'll be back to you. I'll, I'll be flying the drone by then, mate, and I won't be able to talk. Right, that's fine, I won't teach you anything. Can you just put my... Basically, yeah. Let me stand this way, yeah. yeah. I walk in and whatever I film yeah. is done and goes on my social yeah, media, right? That, like, right. that's fine, that's not a problem. Had you came over to... Had you said at the beginning, oh, are you filming? No, no, don't. It looks like it's oh, off, if I'm honest with you. I would have literally turned away and said no worries because that's two seconds. Yeah. Like matter, said, right? it didn't, After a whole conversation. It don't look like it's on, you see. If it looked like it's on, I would have said, look, please stop filming. Or, you know, if any normal person with the camera would come and say, look, I'm asking for consent, am I all right to film you? Do you know what I mean? It's, you don't need consent to film, it? but what I do, I walk in no, and I, I do it. I respect it is, though, isn't it? If you think about it. I wouldn't just walk up to you and put a camera in your face. I didn't put it in your face. Well, it's there, but it looks like it's off. It's off, you wouldn't ask the question. Right. Do you know what so I mean? Part of the video, right, part of the reason for doing it, yeah. it's like, it's like an anonymous audit. So you were more than polite, but let's say yeah. you were quite rude. We've had it before, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Then I'm not going to say my camera's on because you might go, oh, oh, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just oh. try and do it so that people, no, I understand we're not that. hiding well, it. Someone it's not... who doesn't be on social media or on platforms like that wouldn't yeah. want their pictures going out or their videos going out. So but can you not... kindly ask someone not to do that. But I think out of respect, you should just kind of accept it. But in a, in a showroom like that, it's a, it's a showroom, right? It's a showroom, yeah. You're in a... No you're in a... And films me or says, you know But they I mean? can, right? They, they can, in, but in the line of. no, or if I knew that they were, if they asked me, I would have said, no, look, please don't. I'm just coming out, sorry. Yeah. yeah. All I'm saying the best I can probably do is blow your face in there and this won't go on. Anything outside won't go on. Can I see, can I know your platform then? I'm not going to complain, I just want to... No, you won't, he will. Yeah, but I, I won't say anything. If you just let me know what your platform is. He will, is. it's a problem. I won't though. Yeah, but you'll give it to him. I won't. He will. What's the point of having social media if you're not going to share your platform? Because two or three viewers is not going to really make any difference, is it? But, um, hello. Hello, will you still switch on there? This is always on, my friend. Right, I'll stand outside because, again, I don't want to be... You've not got me sent, consent to be filmed. Right. right. It's all right, Sandy, it's just me. Really. Um, I spoke to me at a business. I, yep. I don't want to be on film. So go back inside, mate. Right. Tell me to go over there and go back inside. Right, well... Go on, what have we got to say? Well, I'm going to stand outside here because I don't want to be filmed. I don't think it's an issue. You need my consent to be filming. Me, as a person. Right, I'm going to leave it there with you. But what did you say? In the bath. It doesn't mean it's going to go on social media, mate, but I can't just turn it up, be awkward and turn to the side. If you turn the GoPro off, we'll have a conversation with you. It's not, there's nothing going to be offensive. But let's say I do that, yeah. and you say something you shouldn't, I'm going to... I haven't got it, have I? It's not, it's not the case. Not, it's no, again, but if you did, I've if you did. I've now got members of staff in there questioning why you've been in there filming and right, okay. about their consent. Right. I don't know if there's any customers in there that feel uncomfortable with you filming. 
you're not giving me any grounds to why you're actually filming within the business. I've told you. i told you what I do. I know, but you're not giving me any information. I do an independent audit. It. Right. it goes in the public domain for right. the viewer to judge your business. That's fine. To well, see how well you're doing. That's it, mate. I, you've not got my consent to be filming you, so I'm going to ask you to tip me off any of your videos with okay. conversations we're having now. Yeah. If you've done the videos, then fine, not a problem. But at the minute, I've got no permission for you to be on here or filming. Well, Phil anybody. gave you permission. Are you above Phil? I am. I'm, I'm, I'm the after sales manager. Phil's just a showroom manager. So my role is um, superior. You're superior to, to him, yeah? Yeah, so I'm the yeah. after sales manager. Can you appreciate I've came in and told get that. what I'm doing? Yeah. And initially was fine. Yeah. And it's cracked off with this lady, obviously, not realising I was recording. Yeah, yeah. yeah? And I'm... I'm going to blur her face or maybe cut it. I'll, I'll decide when I get to my editing stage, right? Yeah, yeah. Because she's been more than polite about it. No, that's fine. Right? I'm, I'd like to think I'm being polite with you. I'm just no, you've been polite, but I can't guarantee that this won't go on my thing because you've came out and made demands, and I don't know why, because in there they were very polite about it, mate. They might have been, but I don't, you know? I've got a full understanding of what, you, what you're filming them for. I did tell. I did so, say. But So I'm asking you, you haven't got my consent to film. So do you think I'm filming for like a, a, a negative I, reason? or? I don't know. I don't know. All right. I've got is a few members of staff in there that now concerned why they've been filmed about any consent. I haven't filmed anybody apart so, from yourself, Phil, right, reception, so, right, that's it. That's fine. I mean, Gwenda's now obviously unhappy. That, reception? Yeah, that she'd been filmed. But is that because somebody's complained? I don't know, I don't know. So obviously I've come out with good intentions, I've a conversation with you, I've explained I don't want to be on your video. So I did come in and say, I'm actually recording a video. Oh, great. So, right, well, I, I probably they should have asked who it was for to start off with. I, I did say I do social so, media videos. Right. I haven't so, come in and been all like... I'd like my picture of the um, blurring out. I don't want to be on any shows, social media videos or anything like that. Can and I ask why, mate? I mean, you're the face of the business, aren't you? You're I'm, dressed all smartly and everything. I mean, I am, but I don't want to be on any videos. Yeah. Uh, moving forward, my only part left to do is the drone. Okay. So, from over there, or, or do you mind where? You, you don't care, okay. Want, yeah, but please take my, me off your video. I can't promise, mate. For right. so the lady, I'm more likely going to consider I'll, it because I'll, of the situation. I'll take my but... advice on what I'm entitled to regarding. I've, I've asked you not to post it. What do you mean? I've asked you not to put me in your video. Okay. So, you know, if you're recording this to put in your video, I'm asking you not to. You haven't got my consent. But it's always on. When I get back and I do my editing, I cut it down and I put in what's, you know, worth putting in, basically. That's what I do. Well, I've asked. Okay. I don't want to be in it. Fair I've enough. not got my consent to be filming it. Okay. It's your, your chance to sell yourself, though. I don't to need do to it. sell myself. Right. I don't need to sell myself. I've, just, okay. I've asked you once. You've not got my consent to have me on any of your videos. So is it a no to coming back in, or? Um, at the minute, yeah, I'd rather you didn't come back inside. Fair enough. I've got too many staff that now. Yeah, I can respect that. Okay, no you. problem at all. It's all right, yeah, you can just consider, consider it. Do you know, if you mentioned it before, like I said, it, what it was for, people would be a bit more wary about what it is. Well, like I did, um, you know I mean? I'm going to turn it off for a second, yeah? yeah. Grown up. VW in Bradford. We've got rain coming down, so we're going to have to land pretty quick. No solar panels. Roof's quite old and dirty, isn't it? Got numbers on the spaces as well. Is that the service centre around there? No, it's valeting there. Staff parking. New cars. And over here, you've got the service centre. And I'm wearing grey jogging bottoms today, and I think that's having an impact on how we're spoken to. People making demands. I don't give your mobile consent, blah, blah, blah. Well, you came out to me with a camera buddy. It's a problem. So, VW Bradford.
Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.